Okay guys, in this video we'll deal with the error this app cannot open. So you'll be getting this error for number of applications. You can follow the steps in this video for whichever application you are getting this error. So number of applications like Cortana, like a graphic command center. So anytime, uh, whichever application sometime you are trying to launch or in the middle uh, you will get this pop-up message this application cannot open so one by one you go through the solution so since uh, the error message was with respect to the Windows Store what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the search and type troubleshoot as soon as you type troubleshoot either we go directly to the troubleshoot or the problem or we'll go to the troubleshooter setting once you open this page you can see at the bottom it's additional troubleshooter when you click on it it will open this page now we'll go down and then we'll troubleshoot Windows Store app click on run double troubleshooter now it will detect for the problem you can see troubleshooter could not identify the problem if there was any problem it will identify and even fix the problem click on close this is the very first thing that you could try problem is still persist we proceed to the next step the second step is we'll run the system scan most of the time this will fix the error what you do is in search you're gonna type cmd give a right click on it and run as administrator you will click on yes This will open the command prompt. Now we are going to type a command. So this is the command that you are going to type. It is like dism.exe space slash online or should be capital space slash clean. It is a dash image. C should be capital space slash restore health. H -E -A -L -T -H. And then you are going to press enter key. Once you're done with this, you're going to type one more command sfc space slash scan now and then press enter key. It will take some time. So we are done with the 100%. This was the second step you could follow. The issue is still persist. Proceed to the next step. So the in this step, uh, you will go type update on a search bar. On the top, you are going to see check for updates. Click on it and update your PC to the latest version. You are going to check for update. If any update is uh, available, it will check for all the necessary updates and later on you can update your PC and restart your PC. Updating the PC will update uh, lots of uh, features, apps and different stops uh, in your PC that will fix lots of your issue. If any of the uh, software that is causing the issue, it uh, might start working after updating. So this was the third step that you can try. If the issue is still persist, proceed to the for this uh, for solution so in this step what you're going to do is you're going to go to search and you're going to type user account control once you type that on the top you're going to see change user account control setting click on it this will open this page make sure if your user account control setting is at second or the first one you're going to move it to the just one step from the top it should be at this level if it is already at this level you don't have to do anything click on ok click on yes and you are done so if this do not help proceed to the next step so in this step what you are going to do is for whatever apps you are getting that error let's say I am getting error for this app so what I am going to do is give a right click on it 
and then run that particular app as an administrator. Once again, just try to reopen that app as an administrator. Currently, I do not have for this. So there must be the application whichever you are getting error. You want to run that particular application as an administrator. If the issue is still persist, what you're going to do is the next step is you have to just reinstall that app. If you have installed that app from the Windows Store, you're going to go back to the Windows Store and reinstall the application. And then if you have installed that app from outside, from other source, you're going to search for that app in the Google search and then download it and install it back again. So this is you can do in this step if this is still persist. What you're going to do is before that, if it is a app is already in the system, you have to uninstall that application. It's so very simple to uninstall any application. What you're going to do is just going to go to that application. You're going to go to the source and type that application list name. Let me show you the sample. Let's say I'm getting this error while opening the Chrome application. I'm going to search for the Chrome, give a right click on Chrome, and then I'm going to click on uninstall. This will simply uninstall the application and I'll reinstall the app again. If the issue is still persist, proceed to the next step. In this step, you're going to type services over there in the source. You can see here's a services app. I'm just going to open it. Once I open this application, I'm going to search for Windows Update Service. Since it is arranged in alphabetical order, it is easy to find W. It should be starting with the letter W. So here it is, my Windows Update Service is running and it is enabled. Now what you are going to do, if it is not enabled, you are going to give a right click on it, go to properties, you are going to select automatic, click on apply and then click on ok. Now my Windows update properties is enabled, running and it is automatically. Now it will automatically trigger a start. So after doing this, you are going to try opening the app, if the issue is still persist, proceed to the next step so in this step what we're gonna do is here is you're gonna search for Windows Store when you type the Windows Store here's the store applications give a right click on it and go to the app settings in app settings this will open the setting applications what you're gonna do is at first you're gonna repair the application if the repairing do not work Again, come back to the same place and reset the application. Click on reset to reset. This should fix your issue. If the issue is still persist, proceed to the next step. So in this step, what you're going to try is, you're going to search for Windows Defender. Here is a Windows Defender firewall. Just click on it. Or give a right click on it. So right click do not work. I give a direct click on it. This will open this. What you're going to do is, for a while, you're going to turn it off. So turn off the Windows Defender Firewall and sorry. So over the private and public network, click on OK. Now sometime firewall will be causing the problems. So you do not uh, keep this firewall turned off for a longer time because if you are putting this firewall turned off for a longer time, you might put your PC at risk. So just for checking whether firewall is causing the problem or not, you're going to do this. Again, come back after finishing your work and turn on this in order to keep your PC safe. If this issue still persist, proceed to the next step. So in this step, what you're going to try is, here's apps and features. You're going to open the apps and features. You're going to search for over here and when you type apps, it will open this page. Here you will have the list of installed app. For whichever app you are getting this error, what you're going to do is, you're going to select the tab first. So you're going to select the app and then click on it. Click on advanced option. You're going to terminate the application and it's all related process. After terminating, you're going to open it again. 
So for whichever application you are getting this error, try to reopen the applications and issue should be gone. If the issue is still persist, proceed to the next step. So in this step, we'll type Windows and R key. It's a run command. We'll type here a command secpool is a s e c sec p o l dot m s c and then we're gonna press OK. This will open this security. It's a local security policy. What we're gonna do here is now we'll click on this security option. So here we have a drop down for local policy and here we have a security option. So when you click on it, on the right side, we'll scroll down. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So we'll look for user account control admin approval mode. So user account control is admin approval mode. So it's admin approval mode. So here we have, it is not defined. So user account control admin approval mode. It's a built-in administrator. It is not defined. So we'll keep a right click on it and then go to properties. And then what we do is we'll enable it. Click on apply and okay. So this was another step that you could try. Now you're gonna close it. This should fix your issue. Still the issue persist, you're gonna to proceed to the next step. So this is not the new step, but this is for the built-in application. Some of the applications you cannot uh, uninstall like built-in applications or that comes up along with the PC when you buy it or when you install Windows into it. Uh, these applications are pre-installed. So in order to check the package name very first, you're going to go to the source and type PowerShell. So what we're going to do here is, you can see here is the Windows PowerShell. Give a right click on it and then run as administrator. Now you're going to click on yes. This will open the PowerShell. So very first we'll type this command and press enter key. So this will give all the list of packages that is installed in this uh, PC. So you can see all these are the package name. So all the application that is installed. So let me, let's see if I'm getting the error with this uh, map applications when I'm trying to open the camera or Xbox app. So let's say I'm getting error with these applications. Now I'll copy this package name. Just type control C and now here we have the second command we're going to execute to remove that particular package. So I'm going to replace this MS Paint with this Xbox app. I'm going to copy this and execute this command. Press enter key in order to remove these applications. So remove app package. Now we have successfully uninstalled that package, remove that package. Now what we'll do is we'll reinstall that package. We'll register and reinstall that. The single command will register also and reinstall that package again. So there should not be any space. So type the command as it is and press enter key. Now you can see it is it's a deployment process operation. So it is installing all the packages again, deploying all the packages again. So again, my Xbox app application will be installed. So what I have done here is at first I check the package name and then after I have removed the package and then I'm again reinstalling that particular package. And then now I'll try to open the application and it should be working fine. So let the process complete. 
and you can open the application and it should be working fine this was the final step that you could try the number of solution i've guided you in this uh, so uh, video uh, still uh, if you are getting any kinds of error uh, you are not being able to fix this issue at last what you can do is you can reset your pc it is like factory reset you are doing in your phone you can uh, go to the search so on the top here you have uh, reset this pc you're going to search for reset click on reset this pc and you're going to use this option click on get started and it will pop up you can keep my files or remove everything you can choose the option and just follow this wizard click on next 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 and you can just uh, reset this pc currently it uh, installer media to reset this pc it is asking me to install the installer media it could not find any recovery environment so this is the procedure uh, you can re set your pc in most pc it will not ask you for any recovery media in case if your pc do not have a recovery media then only it can ask you for the recovery media so in the most cases it will be like your a smartphone as you reset your smartphone you can reset the pc this is the final step you can do it this will be like uh, your everything will go away your all the manually installed application will go away like you do in your smartphone it is a fresh install uh, operating system so when you reset your uh, smartphone likewise when you reset this pc everything will be wiped out and your pc will be like a uh, newly installed and manually whatever application you have installed it will be you have to install again and all the bugs and unwanted uh, crash log errors uh, will go away and it will only format your c drive and reinstall your windows it will not format your other drive if you reset your pc so all these were the different steps that you could follow in order to fix this issue if you like this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe and share this video with your friends and family you can help them